This screencast is going to show you how to do your getting started assignment, including uploading your um, I Have Options poster to the Dropbox. First, I'm going to go ahead and log into D2L. And after I get into D2L, I need to click into our class. It'll take just a moment to get me in. Now I've already reviewed the assignment. The assignment is located in the content area, but I know that I need to upload my file to the Dropbox area. That's what the assignment tells me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Dropbox. Now here there's only one link that's active. That means that I only have one option for where to turn it in. Um, this is the only assignment that's open right now. So go ahead and click into the assignment. This is called a folder within the Dropbox. So I'll click into that folder and it'll give me some information. It'll tell me um, what the folder is called. It'll give me instructions if there are any. It'll tell me when the assignment is due and that's really important information. And it'll show me if my instructor has attached a file for me to read. There's no file, there's no instructions, and that's because the assignment itself is already in the getting started assignment which is in the content area. So here's what you're going to do. You have to add a file. So I'm going to browse to my file. Now I've already created my file in Microsoft Word. Here's my I Have Options poster. I'm going to make sure that I've saved it and saved it as a file type that my instructor can read. So if I just click Save As, just to double check this. Right now it's on my desktop. It's called I have options poster and it's a Word document. Now that's a file type that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Close that out. And then back in D2L again, click on Browse. Now I know I saved it to the desktop, so that's where I'm going to look for it. And it's called I have options, so it's here somewhere. I have lots and lots and lots of files on my desktop, which makes it kind of difficult to find things. There it is. After you've selected it, go ahead and click Open. If you had a second file to upload, for instance, you are uploading two different documents, you'd click Add and then browse to that file and then go ahead and uh, upload it from there. We don't, you can always remove a line, but make sure that your file name is still here. Click Upload. It'll take a moment to process and when it processes you can see that it says you've now included your file here. If you have any comments for your instructor at this point, You can go ahead and type them into the comments box, just like you can everywhere else in D2L if you want to. You can make them a different color, you can format them, whatever you feel like doing. I'm going to go ahead and click on Submit. Now this is an important part of this process. You need to make sure that you see this green line that says confirmation email sent successfully and it'll tell you that you've successfully submitted this file. Now to check to make sure that your file is there, just to double check, I mean it tells you that the submission was successful, but just to double check or even triple check, go back to the folder list. You can do that by clicking folder list here, or you can just click back into the Dropbox again. It'll take you to the Dropbox main screen and you'll see the grid. Instead though, this column under submissions before it said zero because you hadn't yet uploaded anything. Now it says one. To see what you've uploaded you can click that list or click that item and it'll tell you that there's a file here, that there's an email message waiting for you. It'll show the comments that you put in. You can change folders from here, although that's the only one with it in there so that's not going to do you any good. But you always want to make sure that the file that you believe you uploaded is actually there and you do that by checking to see that there's this number one at least in the submissions column. 
Now that number changes if you upload more files, you'll see that it'll update so that it says two, three, four, whatever, however many files you've uploaded. And that's how you create um, a submission for the Dropbox. Thanks.